टू डे द टॉपिक ऑफ द स्टोरी द डंकी वॉज हर मैन हार ऊन वॉज ए लिटल बॉय हु लिव इन ए स्मॉल विलेज आउट साइड कराची द लार्जेस्ट सिटी एंड सीपोर्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान हार ऊन वेंट टू ए स्मॉल प्राइमरी स्कूल इन द विलेज विच वॉज अबाउट ए माइल अवे फ्राम हिज हाउस हिज क्लास रूम वॉज वेरी स्पेसियस विद लॉन्ग मैथ मेड ऑफ जोट स्पेड अक्रॉस द फ्लोर इन स्ट्राइट लाइन The children sat on these mats facing the blackboard and the teacher there were no chairs or desks for the children only one desk at the head of the room which was used by the teacher there was also a cupboard to one side where the teacher kept the children's exercise books apart from these few things there was no other furniture This was quite usual in in a small village school in the old days. Harun was a good boy who respected his elder his parents and his teachers. He would get up very early each morning in order to get ready, eat his breakfast and start off on the long journey through the field arriving at the school well before time. His work hard and always finished his school work and he always remembered his parents advice about never putting off two day work until tomorrow during break time harun played kabaddi in the playground with his friends this is a popular sport among young people in the country side and village of pakistan and harun enjoyed the game very much There was also a wazhar man named Taju who lived in Harun's neighborhood. Taju owned a fair looking donkey and every week he would ride the donkey to the nearest town and collect bundles of dirty cloth from the people who lived there. Then he would ride his donkey to the river side where he would wash the cloth. Taju had a bad habit of hitting the poor donkey's legs with a long stick while riding. The donkey would make a terrible wailing sound, die horn, die horn, wailing while carrying Taju and the heavy bundles of cloth. In the evening, Taju rode back home with the bundles of washed cloth, always hitting the poor donkey's legs with his stick. along the way Harun would often hear his tribal wailing sound as the wazhar man passed by and the young boy could not sleep for worrying about the poor donkey In the mornings too on his way to school Harun would see the wazhar man riding towards the town with his bundles of clean clothes always hitting the poor donkey with the long stick the young boy would often think long and hard about how to save the donkey from taju beatings but he could never come up with a plan this went on for a long time the donkey grew old and frail Taju also became old and frail like his donkey and this mean that the wazhar man was not able to collect as many bundles of cloth from the town it also mean that he became proper still and found it harder and harder to look after his donkey Taju started giving the donkey left over food instead of fresh grass and his habit of using the long stick did not change as it happened harun passed his primary school final exams with the highest marks in his class the headmaster presented him with a certificate along with a special prize harun became very popular in the village and his parents were delighted 
एंड प्राउड ऑफ देयर सोन द सेलिब्रेट हेज सक्सेस एंड हार्ड वर्क हार उन्स पेरेंट्स प्रोमिस दैट दे वुड बाय हिम ए गिफ्ट ऑफ हेज ओन चूजिंग दैट नाइट वेन द यंग बॉय वेन to his room to sleep the window was open and he could hear the poor donkey wailing in the distance die hon die hon and so harun decided then and there that he would ask his father to buy the jute donkey from him he was sure that his father would agree but feared that the old was her man might say oh no Taju was very surprised at his request then he thought about how old and frail his donkey had grown and how difficult it had become to feed and take care of and so after haggling for a good price Taju agreed to sell his old donkey to the father and son Harun and his father brought the donkey home with them and put in it the large courtyard at the back of their house they also gave the old donkey fresh grass to eat and promised that it would no longer have to carry the bundles of heavy cloths or be hit with the long stick Harun always made so to look after the donkey and soon it grew strong and healthy even thought it was still quite old the young boy was very pleased because he could see how happy the donkey was in its new home and now Harun would never have to hear the terrible wailing sounds ever again